everybody, it's LC Pony Nerd. This is the final part of the bottle cap. A double, single and double image. Sorry for the noise in the background. My daughter wanted to watch TV. Anywho, thank you for wait, being so patient with me. This should be the final video and hopefully clear enough, you know, hope, helpful enough to, for you to get the general idea. Okay. We are doing the single and double image. First, I'm going to do the double image. Is necklace ready? And I've already measured out my chain. So hopefully I'm trying a new angle so that people can see this. Okay, and I've already opened up one of the rungs, and apparently one got squished, but that's alright. I've opened up one of the rungs. Oh, I'll see what happens. So that I can put the barrel clasp on. Let me just fix this a bit because it got squished, and that happens. Oops. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, I thought I opened up one of the rungs. No, oh, it's still a, Okay. Now, as I've already put the ring in, if you can see. Get closer. A little jump ring. All I have to do now is get the other ring ready and the barrel clasp. That was my handy dandy barrel clasps. And there you go. Little tiny barrel clasp. Okay, now when you're doing this, it helps if you have all your supplies set up and ready. And then when you're done, you want to put them back where they belong so that when you go to do your next project, you're not going, oh my gosh, where did I put it? It's, you know, it's just a good habit to have. Now since I'm making the necklace, that's fine. I already have the length ready. Yes, when you get ready to make a necklace, you want to try and have the length measured before you start doing all of this. That's just a good thing. I'm using the male 18 inch. I say male because it's different when measuring the necklaces for male and female. So this is about between 16 to 18 inches. When making, when measuring necklaces, it's okay to have extra length. What you don't want to have is less length because some people don't like the whole choker collar thing. I kind of do, but not for long. Well, you know, I'll wear it for a few hours and then I'm done with it. Since this is going to be for a grown adult, I'm creating the, I should probably be doing it lower, I am creating the rings to be kind of a split ring that way, because he's going to have wear and tear. He's gonna, he's on a hands-on job, so if he wears it to work, you know, he wanted to be able to have wear and tear. Takes a few minutes now. I'm going to close this little loop. Let's squish it together. Press it down. Now these are sturdier. These are a little difficult to do. But once you close them up, you're good. Okay. Now the other ring. And I know this is not the ideal craft space, but it's only as far as my camera can reach. So when I can get that rearranged, I'll hopefully have a better craft space for everybody. I do apologize for the low volume. I'm working on that too. Okay, what I'm going to do is try to do what happened is this got squished. So I'm going to try and curve it some so it looks more like a loop, less like something squished. That's weird. I can't believe I didn't notice that when I brought it. You know what? Because it's a weird loop, I'm just going to take it out and mess with it later and add it to another necklace. What I'm going to do is expand this. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, I didn't really have to expand that, but that's okay. Put the ring through there. Attach the barrel clasp. And voila. Oh. You know what? I think I can use that extra ring. And again, I'm going to make it 
Now forgive me if I get the names mixed up. It's jump ring and split ring. I'm going to think this is a split ring. And for durability with kids, necklaces, or some adult where you know it's going to go through a lot of wear and tear, a split ring where it comes together like that, you can see, is ideal. Jump ring, it looks prettier, but, you know, it's meant to just be worn, not go through wear and tear. I know, picky picky. But for me, I'd like to have, you know, nice products so that my customers are happy. Because my customers aren't happy, I'm not doing a good enough job. Okay. Oh my goodness. No, no. Okay, now here, if you're having trouble with the necklace, what you want to do is try to get, put the link together. Oh yeah. As always, you want to make sure your clasp works, works before putting it on. Comes apart. Goes back together. And yes, I did test this. So when you're trying to find the middle ground, kind of even out your necklace, and then pull it straight, this is what I do. If you have it set already, that's fine. Pull it straight, and then you'll eventually find the rung that you need. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's the bottom rung. I'm going to thread this wonky link, just like so. Thread it through there. Attach. And close it off. That way, if the necklace turns around while he's working, it'll still show the bottle cap. Now, here, yeah, this thing takes a little bit of work to close up because it's got squished in shipping. And because when I bought it, it was all rolled up, I didn't see it. You know, that happens. Sometimes it takes a little working, sometimes it doesn't. You have to bend and push. What you want, you want the link, the two sides of the metal to come together. And, you know, that often takes work. With practice, you'll get better at it. Sometimes it takes a lot, sometimes you're good and spot on. Sometimes not, it varies. Alright. And there you have it. This is great for some. You can just slip it over. If not, the barrel clasp. And there you're done. That is the single-sided bottle cap image. Now, for the double-sided. Put that all together. As I had mentioned before, I would try and go ahead and get the other side already pre-glossed. As you can see, with that finished and finish up the process on the back. And it looks a little faded, but that's fine. This is supposed to be kind of an antique, worn and torn bottle cap. Yeah. Now, as this is going to be a necklace, I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the others. However, this is going to be with a leather cord. And silly me, I didn't get all of my supplies out. I need my little stand. There you go. And if I call correctly, yep, there they go. Okay, yeah. Well, it is a good idea to make sure you have all the supplies you need. That way, you're not rushing back and forth looking for stuff. Get down. Okay, now I have the little ring. You can see. Split ring, jump ring. Again, I always get the names mixed up. Sorry. It's good to have both versions just in case if you can manage. Okay, we're going to put this through there. Kind of weave it through. That way I have a ring. Now, as I didn't put a ring in this before, I'm doing that right now. Now, I did not measure the leather in advance, but that's okay. Let's see. We're going to have about 12 to 16 inch length. Get out. That's yes, my daughter's playing in the background where she shouldn't be. And when measuring, you want to hold tight. Yes. Now, if anybody is shows, you know, notices I'm doing something the wrong way, 
please, by all means, feel free to correct me. I have nothing against that. That's 12, and we watch. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to cut. There you go. Now for me, I know I'm not the same as a guy, but I do want to kind of try and measure it. Yeah, there we go. Yep. And as you, if you haven't noticed, I am a little camera shy. If you haven't noticed by now. Okay, and I'm going to give this one an extra ring. That way, no matter how he puts the necklace on, it'll still be able to face forward. I'm a little weird that way, so sick me. But this is also going to be a great example. Put it up. Yeah, it says if you haven't told notice this thing, Mr. Nap Time, that's alright. Alright. Now here comes the fun part. I'm going to use my handy dandy stand to hold it together. In time, I will need this microscope. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, this goes with the Fallout New Vegas theme, the leather cord and chains, because, you know, it's Fallout. You don't have time to search for ribbon or make any of that. You get what you can, be it animal hides or what have you. Oh, and silly me. Got to make sure it's facing the right way. Can't have the cord all twisted. Alright, now I have my crimp, mighty crimper tool from Bedalia. Yeehaw! Now, if this says it's leather, I don't need to singe the ends because they're not going to fray. It's leather. Okay. Now, however, because it's leather, I need to make sure that I don't have excess at the end, but I have enough that I can grip and crimp with. And close that off, and there we go. Alright. Yeah, I will admit, this is my first time working with leather. So it's going fairly well. Yep, Little Miss Things having such fun. Yep, yep. Long cap. Turn that around. Do the other one. There you go. And you make sure. Now, if I haven't mentioned before, you want to, before you crimp, make sure you got. The device facing the right way, because as you, if you can tell, first rung and the second one has a little indentation in the middle. Got to make sure that's facing the right way. Yeah, sorry for the webcam being fuzzy today. Silly me, I didn't check it. I didn't clean the lens, but that's all right. Now, I'm going to not do that. Now. Going to attach this. Okay, that way when I close it off, there won't be an issue. Okay, and then the rings again. I'm gonna open that up. Now as you you've seen before how I have done the I oh, can't find oh, wow. Have done how to put a I can't think straight today. I'm sorry. The barrel clasp with the ribbon necklaces. So this is basically the same thing. You make sure you can open and close your clasp before you attach it. That way you don't have a bad clasp and waste supplies. Yep, tested and it works. There we are. Now, okay, attach that one and close it off. Now also as I've mentioned that 
with these particular rings it should be done a certain way well since this is going to be fallout new vegas where everything's kind of apocaly apocalyptic i think doing this for durability isn't going to hurt the theme that much time will tell and we shall see okay there's one side and now to do the other Ta-da! R, R, R. Yes, TV in the background. Somebody likes their bubble guppies. Me? Yep, that's right, you. Okay, and we're almost done. Yeah, I'm sorry, this has become a long video. But I did say this was going to be the final one. Okay. And there you have it. Now, now as I've gotten enough orders for Fallout style necklaces and keychains or standalone bottle caps, I can now do Fallout Equestria. And just give me a second. There you go. There is your leather bottle cap with Pit Boy. And Nuka Cola. Okay, now, as I was saying, where are those? Nope, yep, sorry. T shirt issue. I now have the images for Fallout Equestria Nuka Cola, Sunrise Sarsaparilla, <laughs> Rainbow Crash, Fusion. The blue Nuka Cola, the Sparkle, Sparkle Cola, come on now. And then the Sugar Crash and the Sparkle Cola Zero. And with all of these, the inside image is going to be that purple star. You can see here. Alright, it's super shiny. Yeah. I will not have a colored bottle caps because that will have to cost extra. And I'd like to keep the cost fairly fairly fair for my customers. Thank you for watching and thank you for reading and I will have more art videos on the way.